Hi, this is Preeti. Welcome to my channel and this is my first video and I'm so glad that you guys could be a part of it. Now, as you can see from the pictures from my past, yes, I'm the girl in the corduroy pants on the beach. I was 18 years old and I weighed around 85 kgs and this was the time when people used to call me a lot of names, some really creative ones like the white buffalo, the fat musketeer. I can laugh about it now but it's not easy to get here and it usually never is. But I hope that by watching this video you guys could gain some perspective on losing weight and learn from my mistakes because I have made many. So let's just get right to it. The biggest mistake that I committed was going on random diets just on hearsay basis and this is a big don't to everybody out there as well. I have been on every diet humanely possible. I have done the apple cider vinegar shots, the dudi karela detox diet, the going on boiled vegetables. I have even fasted for a whole month. And it would be a lie if I would say that I did not lose weight by doing any of these, you know, fat diets because I did. But every time I would lose weight and stop this diet, within a week or a lesser time, I would gain back all of the weight back and this time more than what I had lost. But the weight that you lose is your muscle weight and the weight that comes back is fat, it's pure fat. And that is not the only thing that comes back when you go on fat diets. The first thing that happened to me by going on crazy crash diets was hair fall. I had hair fall in bunches and bundles and you will not even believe if I show you pictures of what my hair had actually reduced down to but good news it can actually get back and I will make a video on that later. The second issue are stretch marks. I had stretch marks everywhere and I still do and I'm trying really hard to get rid of them even to this date. And the third thing is fragile nails. My nails had become so weak that I think all my college friends can vouch for it. I have never used a nail cutter in my life. I have literally just peeled my nails off. And the fourth thing that happened was lack of self-confidence. And I consider this to be the worst one because I developed a major complex issue from everyone around me. I didn't want to go to the gym where other people could see me. I didn't want to go on stage. I just didn't want to do anything where I could be noticed and people would notice me. That's when I knew that I was doing something wrong and I had to do something about it because I had been at it for one and a half years with negative results. And that's when I started doing research, pretty much like what you guys are doing now. And I came across this book, Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight by Rujuta Devakar. And this book completely changed my life. For those of you who don't know her, she's the dietitian responsible for Kaina Kapoor's size zero. Based on this book and my own experiences, here are my 10 insights on how I lost weight. The first point is never ever go on a diet and I still tell this to myself that if I cannot follow a diet all my life, don't even start it. Because you know what happens if you go on random diets. The second point is never ever wake up to tea or coffee Instead, within 10 minutes of waking up, have a fruit or pre-soak almonds or anything like that, but do not wake up and empty stomach to cigarettes or tea or coffee because your body has been in a state of fast for the last eight hours and all it needs is some nutrition early in the morning. And the third thing is eating every two hours. Now, whenever I say this to people, they have two very prominent and legitimate questions. The first one is, are you mad? Eating every two hours, that's like six to seven meals a day. Are you trying to make me lose weight or are you trying to make me put on weight? For those people, I'd like to explain this with a very simple example. Suppose all of us ate only chapatis and that is the only food available. So an average person for breakfast eats two chapatis, for lunch three and for dinner three. This is the meal plan of an average person. But with the lifestyle change, with eating every two to three hours, in breakfast you will have two chapatis because breakfast has to be the king. Lunch will be one and a half. It literally reduces to half. And dinner will only be one chapati because dinner has to be the lightest. And your mid-meal snacks, these tiny snacks are just equivalent to like half chapatis. So in the end, you will actually be eating less than what an average person was eating and in a better meal plan. 
and the second question that i get is we are not kareena kapoor we don't have spot boys running around us every 2 hours giving us tiffin you know reminding us that yes it's 2 hours and here you can have your next meal what do we do in this case i would just like to say all it takes is a little bit of planning beforehand because what do you think the mid meals are the mid meals are extremely portable and small they are like a handful of peanuts a block of cheese maybe an aryal pani from the guy below your office or you know they're just so so tiny that you can actually carry them in your backpack or you can just store them at the office or just take a 5 minutes break and have them outside your office all it takes is a little bit of planning and you can easily do this the fourth thing is having your dinner closer to sunset which should ideally be 2 to 3 hours before you go to sleep and i consider this to be like the most important point if you want a flat tummy because this actually ends up showing results within a week do try this one and the fifth thing is exercising there is absolutely no weight loss without exercising don't let anybody tell you otherwise exercise is very very important now there are two kinds of people when it comes to exercise the first one who hate exercising and consider it a punishment this is me by the way and the second kind who love exercising but have no control over their food for the first kind who hate exercising for those people all i like to say is join something that you love you love swimming join swimming classes you love dancing join zumba or aerobics or any activity that you love love playing basketball join that but get into the habit of exercising it can be anything you don't have to go to the gym and slog but it has to be something that is the first step that you have to take and once you get into the habit of exercising the one thing to look out for is strength training because this is proven to be the most effective way in losing weight The sixth point is be more active. Now this is going to come as a disappointment to most of you, you know, who spend like one and a half hour at the gym in the morning and they are done. They lay around all day and they don't do any physical activity or get up because they think that one and a half hour is enough. But it is absolutely not. You have to stay active throughout the day. When you are going to work, take the stairs. If you are going to the mall, take the stairs. If you live in an apartment. take the stairs people if you are at home if the doorbell rings or if your phone rings go run to pick it up let your family and siblings wonder like what the hell happened but be more active because this is going to go a long way in you seeing a difference in your body seventh point is eating healthy foods don't go by the western norms and run to your local fancy store looking for avocados chia seeds acai seeds and you don't need all of that stay true to your genes what have you been eating all your life if you are a south indian stick to your idli vada sambar rasam dosa if you are a north indian have eaten parathas all your life stick to it they are going to do you a lot of good in the long run So basically in the end all you have to do is think global but eat local. Eighth point is saying no to sugar and processed food. Now this point is actually going to be pretty hard for you to quit but just so you know I haven't had sugar in 3 years now and this is going to be the topic of my next video where I'll exactly show you all the tips and tricks on how to quit sugar and processed food. And the ninth point is water and digestion. Drinking at least 3 liters of water a day is very essential and we all know about it yet we don't follow it. And keeping your gut healthy, relieving yourself every day is very essential in not just being healthy but also losing weight. And there is a wonderful book written by G Enders called The Gut. It is all about how to keep your gut healthy and I will talk more about this later. And the 10th point is start now we have all done this and we are still doing this waiting for those mondays or you know the first of every month or you know the multiples of 5 like i'll start from the 5th i'll start from 10th i'll start from 15th or you know when you reach november or december you wait like you know new years it is i'm going to change my lifestyle from new years but these particular dates they never come they never happen If you are serious about doing this start now start with the next meal that you're going to eat and I'm serious you will see a difference with that I would like to say goodbye and I truly hope that I could be of some help in you achieving your personal goals don't forget 
to like, share, subscribe and comment below. And if you have any questions, you can DM me on my Instagram page. Don't forget to watch out this space for more videos. See you next week. Bye.